what's in your eyes Lie down the line You can't take the truth The way I am I can't feel you move I can't feel you move I can't feel you move Folks, this is Wayne Hart, back with another lesson and an absolute classic today as always. I haven't done an Inspiral Corpage tune in ages and uh, this is up there one of my favourites. This is called Move. Uh, Inspiral Corpage, if you've never come across them before, I definitely think they were, you know, they were one of the best bands from that Manchester era in sort of the early 90s, sort of late 80s. Uh, love the carpets uh, and I've seen Tom doing this acoustically on sort of a solo show I think it works really well so uh, I thought I'd get this tutorial out there for you in Spiral Carpets fans so here we go and it's pretty easy to play as well so uh, if you do want the chords, lyrics and strumming pattern however uh, I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page so there'll be a link to that in the comments I'll also put a link in the description and the way that that works you just click on the link sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month or however much you want to pledge it's all very much appreciated and it all goes back into the lessons and it gives you guys access to not only this song pretty much everything i've done over the past sort of 20 months or so since i set the patron thing up so there's a lot of stuff up there now there's some exclusive videos that are on there there's a lot of videos from the archive and the stuff to sort of coincide with you know a few of the technique lessons have done as well if you're into your scales and uh, blue stuff it's all up there so what you're waiting for link in the comments a link in the description uh thanks for your continued support thanks everyone who's subscribed if you are subscribed and you haven't done already however further way you could help me out and yourselves out is uh, setting that little notification bell down there very much appreciated and if you want to please go over and give me a like on social media so i'm wayne Arguitar on facebook twitter instagram and now also tiktok as you always say i'm trying to get down with the kids Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, and really you're just going to need two parts to learn the whole of the song, which is the verse and the chords to the chorus, and we've, you know, we've pretty much got the whole thing. So the chords to the verse are going to be a G. Now, it's up to you what G chord you use. I personally like to use the three finger G and my second, third, little pinky third fret on the top E string. And what that does, it leaves my first finger free to add on and off the first fret on the B string doing what we call the G sus 4 chord. So it's just an embellishment that I stick in there. You'll see me do that when I do the demonstration with the verse in a minute. Okay, the next chord is an F. Now I do an F major seven with a C bass in. If you've never seen me do that before, just take a regular F major seven, and we're gonna move the third finger to the third fret on the A string, a little pinky third fret on the D. Uh, the next chord's an A minor. And then we're going to go to a C chord. And like we did on the F, you don't have to, you can just do a regular C chord. But I think it's nice with a G bass in. So like we did on the F, you just take the C chord. And we're going to move the third finger to the third fret on the low E string. Little pinky third fret on the A string. So that's a C with a G bass in. Okay, so if we hear those chords in context, um, the first line sort of is single strums. And then there's a couple of lines when we do the strumming. And then the next two lines of the verse, we do the single strums again. So I'm just going to play that verse through so you can see how those chords would gel together. And you can also see where I'm going to do that in, you know, little embellishment with the G sus 4 chord. So here we go. So we've got the G, F, A minor, and then C. Let me start the strumming. the strumming lie down the line I can't speak the truth
Okay, so that's going to be your chords to the verse. Uh, the chorus is an A minor. We go to the C and then we go to the G. So what we got is. There we go, we go back into the verse chords there, then we've got another chorus, and then there's quite a long section with a little sort of, you know, Clint on his keyboard solo. That's basically just going over the verse chords, so that's your G. F, A minor, C. And then the final chorus, uh, that just keeps going on to the end, so we got... with a strumming pattern now uh, I mix it up a little bit as I go along but a good guide pattern will be a down down up up down up. I think works quite well around the chords so again that's down down up up down up so if you heard that around the chords we've got the chorus Again, that's down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. And that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug that. You can't beat a bit of the Inspiral Carpets. Uh, you know, I used to be into Inspiral Carpets big time. I do think, you know, they're one of the best bands that come out of that Manchester era, sort of late 80s into the early 90s, that baggy scene. You know, what a time to be alive. And uh, as I said, Inspiral Carpets were always one of my favourite bands and still are. I still follow them to this day. And I've seen Tom, uh, obviously Tom's not with them anymore, but he goes out, you know, singing a lot of the songs on an acoustic guitar. And, and they still work, even you know, without Clint's iconic sort of uh, keyboard lines over the top. I think uh, it proves what great songs they are. So there we go. If you are an Inspiral Carpets fan, I've done a few others. This is how it feels, Saturn Five. If you want to go and check those out. But if you got any other requests for any other Inspiral Carpet songs or anything, fifties to modern day, that's going to work well on an acoustic or an electric guitar within reason. So the easiest way to put a request in is obviously below the video there in the comments. Or if you'd like to find me a personal message over through those social media platforms I suggested at the start of the song, you're very welcome to. I just always point out that we do get quite a lot and I do have to sort of hemp it them a little bit. You know, some things work, some things don't. But don't let that put you off, please do keep your requests coming because that's what keeps this channel going and it's very much appreciated. Another thing that's very much appreciated, I'll quickly mention it again if you are subscribed. First of all, thank you very much. Uh, and if you are subscribed and you haven't done already, a further way you could help me out and yourselves out, you can keep up to date with the videos, is setting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there. Uh, the patron thing, sorry to keep banging on about it, you want the chords, lyrics and the strumming pattern, not only to this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past 20 months. Uh, there's loads of stuff up there now, so uh, you know, go and sign up, there's a link there in the comments, I'll also put a link in the description. Uh, another thing, I've got a super thanks link that's just under the video there, so if you don't want to sign up to Patreon and you'd like to help out, you know, make a small donation, like I say, there's a super thanks link that's just under the video there, you can click on that and make a small donation. Uh, word of mouth is a powerful thing, I always say, so if you dig what I do, please like and share my videos, tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone, you know, plays guitar, please point them in my direction. So that just leaves me to say, whatever time of day it is you're watching, maybe morning, day, night, Thank you very much, and I'll catch you all for lesson very soon. Take care.